All right, welcome to Foul Balls. Jeff G, sports dude from Big Boys Neighborhood. Logic in the building. What's up? How's it going? First of all, congratulations on the album. Thank you we'll so much. We'll talk more about that in a little bit because okay. I have a lot of questions. Yes. I listened to the whole thing and I have a lot of questions. Right. But let's pick some games. I heard you know everything about football. I know everything about football that has ever existed since the dawn of its creation. You're the guy that sets the lines in Las Vegas, I heard. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know everything. All right, let's go. There's a lot of sarcasm there, ladies and a gentlemen, lot of in case you didn't pick up on it. All right, Ravens and Bengals. Okay. Baltimore, kind of in your area. Yes, in my right? area. Yeah, All right, Maryland. so Baltimore Bengals, who you like? Uh, I gotta go with the home team. All right, there you go. So you'll take Ravens. I'll take Ravens. Okay. Colts and Steelers in Indian Pittsburgh. I gotta go with the Steelers only because my mentor Solomon loves the Steelers. All right, there you go. See, you got your reasons, man. Yeah. And watch you—you're gonna sweep me and beat all of them. <laughs> yeah, I guarantee yeah, yeah, yeah. it. All right, last but not least, uh, Bears Patriots. Um, I don't know, Patriots. Patriots? Home spirit, I don't know. All right. <laughs> I'll take Patriots too, man. So there's your NFL picks for the week. Yes. But let's talk about the album in stores now, man. Uh, amazing, first Thank of you. all, man. Thank like, honestly, much. it's a great album. I'm going to start as a geeky fan a little bit here. And I'm a 90s guy myself, man. So yeah. you took the voice or you borrowed the voice from a little bit of homage to Tribe Called Quest. Of course. And Midnight Marauders. Yeah. Who's Talia, man? Thalia is, she is my inspiration, my muse. So Thalia is actually one of nine sisters and daughters to the Greek god Zeus. Okay. And Thalia in specific is the muse of music. So it's my muse taking you through the whole album and explaining kind of where I was and the tidbits on how it got created. I just thought it was like one of your homegirls that needed yeah. an extra checker. No, no. no. Right. right, it's good though. That's good. That's a yeah. great explanation. All right, Chili Peppers. I saw you do a shout out there. Yes. I'm a LA guy. Of course. Born and raised on yeah. those dudes. By the way, if you ever get a chance, read Anthony Kiedis' I, book. I already have. Oh, it's the shit. It's amazing. All right, so Chili Peppers, favorite song of all time from them? Uh, man, you can't, no, it doesn't exist. You it's can't like, pick one? Okay, give me various, two. Three. Under the Bridge, uh -huh. Scar Tissue, Californication, Porcelain, like it goes on and on. I'm sorry, but I love it. See, that's a one, fan yeah. right there. That's yeah, exactly. a fan. All right, so I, I read somewhere that, you know, that you really want to try to drop some really great numbers first week. Like I said, I think it was, the quote was like 100 grand or somebody, something like somebody, that. Somebody was like, oh, what, what is, you know, numbers that could be possible or whatever. And, and that was like I slightly talked about it. To me, it's not even necessarily about the numbers. Well, right, you say that in your song. Yeah, that's that what it I mean. It doesn't even not, matter. It's, it's not yeah, gonna yeah. define so you. So for me, it's like cool. Whatever happens, you know what I'm saying? Uh, it's me and Ti going for going for number one, you know, hip hop album, and that's it's kind of like David versus Goliath because Ti is a legend. He's the man. Right. So, but for me, it's not about that. It's like, do the fans love it? Does hip hop accept accept it? Is it authentic? And do music lovers, um, you know, just will they take it in? And I think everybody is. So for me, I've already won. It doesn't what I do. No, you won. The album is terrific, <laughs> man. All right, so um, there's a song, Metropolis, on your album, right? There's a girl in the song. Yes. And you guys are talking on a train. Yes. And I want to kill this girl, man, because she doesn't know <laughs> as much about movies as she should, man. Because totally. to me, is I don't care how hot she is, maybe she's good for a night <laughs> or two, but I can never stay with the chick that doesn't know shit about Quentin Tarantino or any of those other movies that yeah, you yeah. mentioned in there. Um, who's the girl, and how did that idea come to pass on the song? Uh, well, it's crazy. So uh, it's a friend of mine. Her name is Anna, and she actually worked at the studio. And um, I'd always go, and she, she was like an intern, and she'd work there or whatever. And I always noticed that she had a very nice voice. Mm -hmm. And um, so I just wanted to kind of incorporate her in, into the entire album, but specifically with that song, it's kind of the listener's interpretation of it. Like, who is it? Who am I talking to? Is that my dream girl? Is it my inspiration? Is it my muse? Did this conversation exist? Is it happening in Europe? Because I talk about being in Europe and this right, and that. So is it happening over there on the train, going to Belgium and Amsterdam and you know Switzerland, all these things, or is it in Chicago? Is it here? So for me, it's like. I just wanted to have a con and the conversation is very genuine too. So I sat her down mm -hmm. and it was completely unscripted and mm -hmm. I just started talking to her about movies because I love movies. And so what you're hearing is actually authentic and coming from her, That's which awesome. is amazing. And But I just want to have fun and just let everybody know I'm a huge Tarantino stan and talk about movies I loved. That was awesome. And could let me ask for the ladies, would you, could you ever date a girl that doesn't have the same film taste and or passion that you do? Um, yeah, I think I could. I mean, yeah, yeah. but I'm, I'm a happily taken man. So. Uh, all right, there yeah, you go. Yeah, yeah. All right, and, and last but not least, again, I want to congratulate you on the album. I have one more thing. Okay. 90s artists, okay? Okay. Your top five 90s artists, it could be a group or an individual. Tribe Called Quest, Wu-Tang Clan, Big O, Nas, Big Daddy Damn. Look at this guy right here. Logic. Album is in stores right now. Please go get it. If you're a fan Please. of 90s hip hop or hip hop now, man, this guy kills it. Thank you very much. I thank appreciate you, your time, brother. Appreciate thank it. you. We want to thank our Southern California Chevy dealers for sponsoring this segment. Make sure you hit up power106.com slash football for your weekly picks where you can win free prizes as well. Timberland. Best then, better now. Get yourself a pair at Robert Wayne Footwear.